I always wondered how you pronounce the name of this place. I always called it Fort Oof, like you just got punched in the stomach. Now we just got secret to reason, which is magical defense plus two permanently. Now you would think that we're out of words, which means we have to go to Lambda to actually carry on the storyline. Ah, but this is not true. To anyone observant will notice I've had some new mail for like the last eight videos. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Mail, mail, mail. Hey, message board. Message board. Let's play tag. More tag! That's not what I'm here for, though. I am here because shortly after getting her member address, Terajima Ryoko sent you a message. Hearing that there's a very rare item at Generous Bemused Virgin. Now, I put this one off to last for a reason. That reason being both that Terajima Ryoko was horribly underleveled. She's still level 36. And because Generous Bemused Virgin is a level 62 area. So that one's going to be challenging on its own, much less with Ryoko at level 36 now. So... Let me go get her a couple levels. Now, I got Ryoko up to an admirable level. 51, which isn't the highest in the world, but she's got some pretty good equipment, so it all... she can hold her own if need be. Thank you so very much for inviting me today. Now, everyone it, you, whose member address you have will continue to level up with you. You don't, They don't need to be in your party to get experience. They get experience wherever they are. It's just kind of assumed since it's an MMORPG, they're off doing their best as well. Why, hello there. Give me just a moment. I'll be right there. They don't upgrade their equipment, though. Which is mildly frustrating. I guess they all just assume Kite's gonna take care of that for him. We're heading to Sigma, Generous Bemused Virgin, which is level 62. Fun times are to be had. I always like the snow fields. They're very pretty. Hey, I see a portal. No, I don't know how many of these uh, field portals I'm gonna fight. Because, as you can see right there, one of the interesting things about this field and this dungeon is that there's a lot of data bugs as regular enemies. Ho go and um. Yeah. And you see, due to my death effect being death effect E, I'll occasionally do some 14,000 damage to him. And you see, his life bar was slowly going down. Rest assured, though, you can't actually kill them, even if you do hundreds of thousands of damage. Okay, now he is physical tolerant, so set everyone to magic. And maybe cure myself while I'm standing here. Now, you cannot kill them, even though you can bring their hit points down, because once they get down to about halfway, it stops going down altogether. The little bugged-out number that is their current hit points stops changing. So yeah, without the bracelet, you're generally pretty fooged. Now, as many da now, not only are there data bugs on the field, but there are data bugs in the dungeon. Which means my infection rate is probably going to get kind of high. And this guy can cure himself. I need to remember that and actually spam my attack spell. There he goes. 
We all good? Yeah, I think that's about good for the uh, battles on the field there. And with my infection rate getting really high, I'm not going to bother doing much of anything I don't have to. There's another portal. Can I ignore it and keep running? Yes, I can. I forget why you even wanted to come here, Ryoko. Yeah, it says Terajima Ryoko, and I'm calling her, calling her Ryoko first, because Japanese names are written backwards. Her first name's Ryoko. Plus, Ryoko in uh, Tenshi is probably one of my favorite characters. And I have nine hit points left! I'm going to run! I'm going to set Wise Man to first aid, and then I'm going to cure everyone. Let's start with Ryoko, because she's standing way over there and has 12 hit points left. You know, Ryoko, if you could have more than about three hit points at a time... I'd like to cure myself! Curing myself would be much appreciated. Ah, oh, crap, that doesn't cure that, does it? Equipment... Head, head, head... No, I can remove paralysis on Wise Man, so he can finish curing. And maybe Ryoko can kill both of them. That works, too. You know what, wise man? I thought I put you on first aid already. Hold on. Yes, I'm still mildly getting over that cold I mentioned I had earlier. That's why I'm talking through my nose and generally sound a little weird. It's because I need to blow my nose very, very badly. There's nothing I can do about that, so I get to hold it in for half an hour. Or however long it takes to finish this recording. Now, I actually remember running through this dungeon not terribly long ago, so I remember the path, but I'll use an item anyway, just to so show you guys where to go. You can head up and around, and that's a whole lot of battles, many which involve many data bugs. Which mean... Don't go that way. Go this way and fight another house golem. Now, in his bugged out form, he's magic tolerance. So set everyone to attack and set wise man to first aid and start beating on him until he dies. And that was a 15,000 followed almost immediately by a 14,000 damage death effect. And there's a 13,000, and he's down maybe... Not even a third of his hit points yet. There's the protect break. And no, I'm not playing that full animation for every, for every data drain. You can skip it by merely pressing a button. And now I forgot what I have to do, which is go back over here and set everyone to magic and start nuking. I don't like magic battles, though, because it's just me standing back here watching things and mashing this button really quickly. And maybe if people get hurt, I can cure, and that adds to it a little bit of the excitement. But just the me standing here? Not so much. No, I can data drain him again, but that would raise my infection rate. And every time you kill an enemy that's not infected, it lowers your infection rate. 